So the next step, what we're going to do is kind of work more on the nose and get that nose pretty much finished up, make the nostril and everything like that. So if we look at it from our side view, we have a general shape, but we are missing this good portion of the nose. So we are going to need to shape that out. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to insert an edge loop. And I'm going to actually pull one right on the side of the nose right here. And that's just going to give me a nice amount of geometry to not only shape out that portion of the nose, but it's also going to prep the nostril area. So I'm going to take these vertices right here. I'm going to move them a little closer that way. This way I can actually reshape this portion of the nose a little bit. And we start building this area. So after that, we'll take a look at what we have right now. And this is looking pretty good. So that looks good there. That looks good there. That's fine where it is. Let's just take a nice good look at what we have going on. So I'm going to move a little better down this way. Let's bring it a little farther that way. That's just more of the lip. And we now have a good spot to really work on the nostril. We lower this. And in doing so, it's just going to really shape out our nose as a whole, literally. So what I'll do is I'm just going to shape this as best as I can to really give me the form factor that I'm looking for and adjusting along the way. So all I'm doing right now is just really adjusting the different parts of the nose. Let me bring this back over here with there. So all I'm doing is just kind of like doing minor adjustments just to have a nice spot for our nostril. So all this is looking pretty good. We have a little bit more of a hook than I'd want, but that's all right. So we'll take in this face right here, and this is going to become our nostril. So what I'll do is I'm going to do an extrusion right there. So I'll extrude it. I'm going to click on one of these cubes to get the center cube right there. And that's going to be the general lip of our outer nose. And I'm going to do a secondary extrusion and take the blue arrow and push it inwards. And we're going to scale it in a bit. We don't have to go too far in. We're not creating an anatomically correct nostril. We're just going to get something to have that shape. So all I'm doing is kind of pushing that portion of the nostril in to really get that shape defined. So we've got that right there. I am going to modify the way the, these edges are going. So we do want to kind of like bring this in more, bring this in a little bit more, and just shape this nostril as best as we can because it is just kind of a really round shape and it's not really round where we want it to be. So I'm going to use my images as a little bit of a guide. I am going to try to adjust this in smooth mode. Normally you really shouldn't because you don't really want to work too too much in smooth mode because it does get things confusing a little bit faster than you'd want and things don't move around nicely. So that looks like a pretty good shape there. It is still a bit wide on this side so what we'll do is want to narrow it a little bit more. Just like that. And as we add more to it we could always adjust it once we create the other side because we do want to make this look as nice as we possibly can. So all I'm doing is really just thinning things out. And as you see that's why we don't want to really work in smooth mode because you end up with situations like that where things aren't really playing out nicely. So that should be pretty good as it is. We don't want that harsh of a lip there so I might want to modify these vertices. So for that I might actually go on the inside to really just get a good kind of vantage point and seeing what I want to work with and how I want to work with them. So I'm just going to go in and move those around a little bit. That looks a little bit better from the inside at least. Yeah, it looks good there. So now we have that portion of the nostril done. We do want to kind of maneuver these a little bit more to really shape this out. So we do have that nicer nostril shape because otherwise it's kind of like really formed. So I might bring that in that out that way, do this out that way. Some people like to even go in and take a, a face and do an extrusion like that to really shape it. 
but I usually don't like the way that looks. So like going some, doing something like this, because then you do have like that little bit of a hook that you kind of have to fix up afterwards. Which let's see how that looks. Otherwise, we'll kind of undo it. So I'll delete that face right there. I'll delete this one right here, and then I'd have to kind of go in and pen this nicely. But we'll see how it looks. Maybe for this one it works nice. So let's see. So I'm just going to close that up there. That does look okay. It's not really what I'm looking for. Maybe if I close up fully, it'll look better. It looks alright. I might adjust it a little bit more. Let's see. How is it to the front view? Yeah, we might be able to make that one work. So again, a lot of this is kind of like touch and go with how you feel is best for you and your work your workflow. And you can adjust the the way this tutorial goes to however you feel works best for you. So I'm taking this there. I'll bring this inward more. Bring this one inward more just to really get a little bit more defined crease. So that looks pretty good there. And I'll go there. And that will round out there a little bit more. That looks pretty good. I'll lower this more. Yeah. Definitely not the way I would normally do it, or preferably do it, but in this case it looks pretty alright. So, yeah, it works. So now we've got the nose shape done. We could add another edge loop right here if we want more detail. Let's see. If I keep adding these details, I'm going to end up having a much longer tutorial than I thought it was going to. But when it comes to modeling, you never know. Yeah, it does define it a little bit better. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. So now that we've got the nose done, pretty much all we have left to do is the ear and pretty much just final touches just around the actual head itself. So kind of like shaping out some of this ge geometry, getting rid of some of this we can, and then doing the other side of the head. So in the next video, we'll work on the ear, and if we have time, we'll do the, that other geometry as well. But see you then.